one of the most amazing records that came out over the last 10 years, at least in the 2010s. I, oh, God, I don't see how this was ignored. I really don't. This is one of the most engaging records I've ever heard. The harmonies are just it's superb. It's the singing is really great. I just Nellie Joy, she's just really well they, Jason reads the Nellie Joy Hard Dive Heart Vintage at number five on my fancy playlist. January tenth, twenty sixteen. I guess I peaked it out at number five. I'm thinking, well, contemporary-wise, I guess they could be, they're not country, but they could be compared to, like, uh, country acts like Sugarland and Ben Perry. But I'm thinking, when I first heard this song, I thought of the 60s. Groups like uh, John and Robin and the in crowd, they had a male and female thing going, and it was really nice. And there was the Mamas and the Papas, reminds me a little bit of the Mamas and the Papas. Some of that great 60s pop that had some of the uh, male and female vocals, vocals kind of interspersed. Fifth Dimension, maybe a little bit of the Fifth Dimension, but just 60s sunshine pop. Remade, re-engineered, brought back into, 20, into the 21st century. It's great, Pete. You can't get, I know I said this a million times, you just can't get more radio friendly than this record. I just flipped over it. Well, let's talk about this uh, Talk about this group a little bit. Actually, it's a duo between Jason Reeves. Jason Reeves has been around for quite a while, for the last 10, 12, 13 years, from Iowa City, he moved to California. He hooked up with a producer. The pro producer's name was Mikhail, M-I-K-A-L, Mikhail Blue. Mikhail Blue introduced Reeves, Jason Reeves, to Kobe Callier. Remember Kobe Callier? She, she had some really nice records out back in the late uh, 2000s, early 2010s. He co-wrote with Kobe Callier. He co-wrote Bubbly. That was in 2007. God, I remember her first hit. Might have been Bubbly. Might have been back in 2007. That was realized back in 2008. Co-written by uh, Jason Reeves and produced by Mikhail Blue. And uh, the Callier family invited Reeves into their home. They took him into their, well, took him into their bosom, basically. And he collaborated with uh, Kobe Callier, and it was a very fruitful collaboration. And she introduced him. Callier introduced Jason Reeves to MySpace, and they were putting out Kobe Callier's uh, videos out on MySpace, and of course that ginned up a reputation now. This was before Facebook got big. MySpace was the thing back in the mid to, well, towards the late 2000s. Of course, Facebook kind of obliterated MySpace, but MySpace, believe me, it was the thing back in the mid 2000s. And uh, the videos they put up on MySpace generated, generated a lot of interest, a lot of buzz. And uh, Kobe Callier got a major record deal with Universal Records something like that, Universal Republic Records, and uh, Jason Reeves, he put out about four albums, independently, I believe, but he got a deal with Warner Brothers with the help of songwriter. She was on American Idol for a season or two. Cara Diagardi, I believe is how you pronounce her name, she was the uh, vice president of, of artists and repertoire at Warner Brothers. She heard one of his albums, heard his music, and she said, we got to sign this guy. So let's jump. Let's jump to High Dive Heart. That's that's Jason Reeves. I want to talk about Nellie Joy real quick. Nellie Joy, her real name is Danielle Danielle Leverett Leverett. I'll just pronounce it as Leverett. Leverett was in a country act. It was a duo called the Dear Jane Girls, or the Jane Dear Girls was the name of the act. She, it was a country duo. She was in this duo with a woman named Susan Brown. They put out an album on Reprise, Rec on Reprise Records, uh, well, the Reprise Record label, an album that was produced by John Rich of Big and Rich, and they had a couple of country hits in the early uh, 20 teens, uh, there was Shotgun Girl that went to number 36. That was no, that that was on the country charts for 20 weeks, and uh, their biggest hit though, the 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 Jane Deere Girls, 
I like that the Jay Deere girls. That is so cool. That's like John Deere, man. You know it's country. And, and they came out with a song called Wildflower. That went to number 15 on country. And she she changed. She wrote a song for Big and Rich. I wrote down the name of it, but I got to wait till my chicken scratch. I don't have the time to do that right now. But uh, she changed her name to Nellie Joy, and she just she's she's from Texas, Amarillo, Texas, and she sounds stupendous on this record, very much so. God, just I just want to go up to these two people, Jason Reeves and 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 Nellie Joy, and say God. I'd, I'd probably be speechless. <laughs> I couldn't say a dang thing. <laughs> All right. But I got the song up there way high on my fancy playlist. This song should have been top ten. I'm kid. I'm not kidding. In an earlier era, it probably would have been in the top ten. It's a folksy record. Peter, Paul, and Mary, Mamas and Papas. Maybe a little bit of pop. I've already mentioned John and Robin and the in crowd from the 60s. Well, anyway, we got the hot, hard dive heart vintage. Number five, fancy playlist, January 10th, 2016.